Hello guys, it's William here from Junior Lion Williams Adventures. Here finishing up my house sell selling in the United States. Hopefully by the end of the month I can go through settlement and get ready to head back to the Philippines in June. Just wanted to come to you with a short video of something that was an observation of mine. A while back there used to be a show on called Girls Gone Wild. And I thought I'd make a short video and talk about foreigners going wild in the Philippines. That's what we're going to talk about, guys, for a little while. Remember, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate that, Junie Lai and myself. And we appreciate our members and those that have already subscribed. So thank you. So let's get into it. Foreign is going wild in the Philippines. One thing I observed from living in the Philippines for two years and from being there three times before that, almost a month at a time, close to that, since 2019, and then living there for two years uh, straight, coming back this April to sell my house. I've seen a lot of stories of foreigners that have sent money to the Philippines, to women they have never met. Thousands and thousands of US dollars, which is millions of Philippine pesos. Some to build houses, guys, um, with women they have never seen. Some guys that have sent over thousands and thousands of dollars to buy motorcycles and cars. Now remember, granted, it's nobody's business what someone does with their money. But let's not be foolish, guys, to send money to women that you men in LDRs that you've been talking to for sometimes people two and three years that you've never met, that you've sent money to build a house in their name, sight unseen. Foreigners going wild. Well, one thing I've noticed is that when you do go to the Philippines, guys, from the time you step off the plane, most likely in Manila, a lot of times. Uh, it's a different atmosphere. If it, It's a different animal. And for guys that are middle aged, even upper middle age, in the last fourth quarter of their life, probably from 62 and over, to be talking to a beautiful woman in a camera for months and months, sometimes years, then get off the plane and either meet that girl or maybe she ghosts you at worst case scenario. But to see the culture where being older than the woman you're with is accepted, kind of. It's kind of like intoxicating. You're talking to this beautiful woman in the camera. Things happen. Next thing you know, you're sending money for load. Next thing you know, things come up that she's saying a loved one got sick or something happened. Murphy's Law in the Philippines. Whether she's telling you the truth or not, things are happening. And you started sending a little bit of money. Pretty soon, you start getting emotionally attached. Remember, we're talking about older men that are normally lonely. The dating pool is dried up for them. And here they're talking to this beautiful, jet black haired beauty on the phone or in the laptop. And next thing you know, now he's in. He's sending money. He's building a house. Sight and scene. Foreigners going wild in the Philippines. But when you do get off that plane, a lot of times the inhibitions are let down. You go out, maybe you go to a club, a girl's club. Next thing you know, you're spending money. You're throwing money around because our money goes so much farther in the Philippines. And you sort of, for a little bit, you lose your inhibitions and you go wild in the Philippines. Just like that was that show back in the 90s or whatever it was, Girls Gone Wild. It's foreigners going wild, guys, in the Philippines. Remember, keep your sanity when you go to visit the Philippines, even if it's on vacation. Because there's going to be a lot of things to help you spend your money. From the time that you get off the plane, you're marked as a walking ATM, guys. So don't go completely wild when you get to the Philippines. Don't be one of the foreigners going wild. 
that spent all their money. Worse yet, that sent a lot of money before you even got to the Philippines. Guys, I could tell you stories of guys that got ghosts. Guys that build houses they never lived in. Guys that sent money to women they never met and never got to meet in person. Oh yeah, guys, it's true. Foreigners going wild in the Philippines. Don't let it be you. If you do decide to go wild, let it be your choice. Because after all, no matter what any of us vloggers say, it's none of our business what a man does with his money that he earned through his lifetime. What a lot of us vloggers are trying to say, don't spend it foolishly. If you met a girl two or three times and you want to send her money, that's fine. You want to build a house, that's fine. If you met that girl in person and you feel like that's the one for you and you're, in, you're engaged or you're uh, in a relationship, you think that is going to go forward in the future. If that's what you choose to do with your money, after all, it is your money. But remember the old saying, a fool and his money soon depart. So I'll tell you guys, there's a different thing. It's a different vibe when you enter the Philippines. And you have to watch that because of your excitement, because of your loneliness that you were in the U.S. that you didn't have a chance to be around girls this beautiful that are paying you attention. You can go wild in the Philippines, guys. It can happen to you. So remember, take the appropriate steps, guys. Use patience. Use common sense. If you're going to party, party responsibly. Don't get taken advantage of, guys. Remember to subscribe and like this video. It helps us to push it around. And what most vloggers, most I say, that we vlog from the Philippines, is because we're trying to warn anyone not to fall for the same things that others have fallen for, for guys. So once again, this is William at Juni Lai and William's Adventures saying, remember, foreigners do go wild when they get to the Philippines. Don't let it be you. And if you are going to go wild, guys, do it responsibly. If there is such a thing as an oxymoron of going wild, responsibly remember give us a thumbs up subscribe look at our links we have a lot of uh things in our links that you can take advantage for insurance if you want to meet an ldr that's somewhat more responsible we recommend christian filipina it's in our description links guys in our channel links those of you that got comments what do you think about this video do foreigners go wild guys in the philippines is there a, a, a percentage of foreigners that get taken? Because when they get off the plane, they're unprepared for what they're going to face. They're unprepared to be in the camera with young, beautiful women in the LDRs. And they just let the grip of their wallet go, guys. Comment. Tell us what you think about foreigners going wild in the Philippines. Remember... Spend your money wisely. Party wisely. Don't get taken advantage of when you go to the Philippines. But make sure that you enjoy yourself. Have a good time. But don't go wild to where you're going to get taken. This is William. And remember, enjoy every day. Because tomorrow's not promised. We'll see you next time with something different at Junie Lai and Williams Adventures.